Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, I have 26 bread and butter Bolo items coming your way. These are items that I sold on eBay for $35 or less, items that I picked up at garage sales, thrift stores, estate sales, and I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. And 26, let's get started. All right, so these are items that I bought low and I feel like I sold high. Um, are they my big money bolos? No, but um, you will see the margins are definitely fantastic. All right, the first item I sold is this green plastic brooch. And I got this at a garage sale for about a quarter. It was kind of like a bulk buy deal and um, I kind of divided it out and I'm guessing it was about a quarter, if not less. And it was just plastic. I think plastic, I don't know, it was very lightweight and I just put lightweight and it's costume jewelry, but still a really cool piece. Um, I sold it for $16. They didn't even make me an offer. They just bought it for that price and the buyer paid the shipping. The next item I sold is this vintage loving family brother boy. He's got the sports shirt on. Um, super, super cute. Uh, it does say, I believe, play school either on the foot or the back on. Oh, no, I'm sorry. This isn't play school. This is a uh, loving family Fisher Price. So you can see it says 98 FP. So uh, that's Fisher Price. And this is a loving family doll. And I sold him for $16 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this vintage hand painted dollhouse furniture. I picked this up at a garage sale in a lot of dollhouse items. It is marked Japan and super cute little set. I sold this for $20 best offer and the buyer paid the shipping. The next item I sold is this loving family Fisher Price. It is the blue ladder for the RV camper. It is a replacement ladder only you guys. Um, I like selling replacement parts. Uh, this sold really quickly. I sold it for $11, best offer, and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this vintage Rockefeller, Rockefeller Center New York City horse money clip. I believe it's copper, but not 100% sure. Um, I sold this for a best offer, I'm sorry, $16, buyer paid shipping. Uh, this one came from a garage sale, and it was about a quarter. The next item I sold is this vintage apron, and this has been a very super long tail item. I'm guessing somebody probably bought this as like a little Valentine's Day fun thing. I don't know, uh, but it's it's you know Valentine's red. It's pretty, but it has been sitting and sitting and sitting, and Valentine's Day is right around the corner, so that's going to be my guess. It sold for $15.99 and the buyer paid shipping. I picked this up with a bunch of other aprons at a garage sale, so I've got hardly anything in it. The next item is this vintage 1997 Di Princess Diana doll. Um, never removed from, from the box. I picked her up at a garage sale. I got about $3 in her and I sold her for $18 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this American Girl skirt. So one thing I can recommend doing is if you um, find American Girl items, go to the Facebook group and an American Girl Facebook group. I can't remember which one I'm in, but if you post pictures, they will tell you which doll it goes to, which is so helpful when you're trying to look these things up. Um, I bought this in a bulk buy of American Girl clothing. Uh, the picture's not that great, I have to admit. Um, I did end up selling this for $11.99 plus shipping. The next item I sold is this scrapbook album and stickers. I picked this up with a huge lot of scrapbooking items. Scrapbooking items are hit and miss. Some sell quickly, some are very long tail, but I always pick them up if I can get them for the right price. This ended up selling for $19.99, buyer paid shipping, and I probably had a buck in it. The next item came with those Girl Scout patches, or um, it was like a sash and two vests, and they came in a bag from a thrift store, and I think it was $3 for the bag, and this was a nice surprise. There was a stack of um, vintage patches on the inside that I didn't even know were there. This one patch sold for $20, best offer, and the buyer paid shipping. 
The next item that sold is this Spoon Teaks Pewter Figurine. And I took a best offer. I'm not, nope, I'm sorry, I lied. Um, this actually sold for $11.99 and the buyer paid shipping. I picked it up at a garage sale for a quarter. I guess it's just like a little figurine that you'd like sit on a table. I'm not entirely sure, but I've had it a while. And I actually, uh, I number my totes and I had it numbered wrong. So I was like, oh my goodness, which tote is this item in? And I thought I was going to have to cancel the order. But I then remembered that I had put some of the items that said this tote number in another tote and I found it and I was so happy. I was so happy. I did not want to cancel the order. The next item sold super fast. I picked this up at a thrift store for $2. And I think it sold within 24 hours. It's a Department 56. It's like a creamer, pitcher, vase looking thing. Um, it says this on the bottom. And I took a best offer of $20 buyer paid shipping. The next item came out of my Dibble box from Donatella Bottolino. Um, I explained this in another video, but I'll go ahead and let you guys know. If you're looking for inventory, uh, Donatella Bottolino and auctions for you, um, I have links down in the description of the video for both their channels. They do YouTube auctions, but Donatella does this thing called a dibble box. And it is basically a reseller box. It's a dibble bit of this and a dibble bit of that. And I was bidding on a dibble box and she's showing the items and somebody was bidding against me. There might've been a couple people get it, bidding against me, but it went up to $110, but it was a really great box. And I actually have an unboxing of it. And then at the end of the video, I listed every single item and I show you guys what I have it listed for. And I think I've already sold like eight, maybe nine items. So um, I've already made my money back plus money and I still have a ton of stuff. So you can go check out that video. And at the end, I tell you what I think I'm going to make and break down the numbers for you. So definitely go check that out. And if you search my YouTube channel, just type in Dibble, D-I-B-B-L-E, and it'll pull it up. So this Mickey Mouse was a part of that, and it's a bank. And I ended up taking um, the sale price of $14.40 and the buyer paid shipping. And it sold fast. Um, I think I said I've sold like eight or nine things, and they have all sold fast. And I still have, I want to say there was 44 items in the box. And I, so I still have like 44 listings minus the eight or nine that I sold. That'll be all profit. It's amazing. It's a great place to source. The next item I sold is this vintage 1971 Little Miss Dollykin. Dollykin, not sure how to say it, but I just picked her up recently at an estate sale. She was like a buck and I just thought she looked interesting. <laughs> and I was like, I'll just auction her. And I started her at $19.99. She got one bid. They paid immediately and the buyer paid the shipping. So I don't really know anything about it. I may have underpriced it. I may have overpriced it and somebody just wanted it. Not really sure, but happy to sell it quickly. The next item I sold is this. This also came from that same estate sale and I don't get out to estate sales much. Um, I'm more of like, my favorite thing is garage sales, but um, in the winter, I'm mostly thrift stores and estate sales from time to time. Um, but with COVID and everything, I've just kind of limited the estate sales, but I will say, um, there were not a whole lot of people there and everybody was wearing masks and, you know, I felt, I felt very comfortable. Uh, I ended up picking up this jug and I paid, I think it was a dollar. So it was half off. I got it for like 50 cents, I think. But the guy at the estate sale, um, I'm pretty sure that he knows I'm a reseller and he was kind of like checking it out. And I think he thought maybe I had found a treasure. And I was like, I really don't know if it has any value at all. I go, I just thought it was interesting and it's 50 cents. And it says made in Japan on the bottom. And I really like things that are made in Japan. So I listed it. I started the auction at $17.99 or best offer. Somebody made me an offer of like 15 or something. And I was like, no, I'm just gonna hold off and just see what happens. I don't know what this outer part is made of. You guys let me know what you think on this one. Do you think I underpriced it? Do you think I overpriced it? Do you think I got lucky? Um, I don't know. I sent my um, uh, friend Eddie uh, Hodgepodge. I featured his uh, eBay store many, many times on my channel. He has an amazing eye for bolos, but he likes jugs. And he's like, I think that's probably just a mass produced piece. Um, and I was like, okay. So that's why I priced it low based on what he said. So. 
yeah, sold it for $17.99. I was happy with that 50 cent investment, buyer paid shipping. And the next item, it's kind of got some stains. That's why I priced it the way I did, but the pants were in great condition. Um, same estate sale. And I bought a bunch of Barbie clothes. Uh, well, I bought a bunch, but this little, this was a smaller lot for $8 half off. I got it for four bucks one of the Ken outfits sold for $41. And you can see that one in my big money bolo video. But um, this one I sold for 1050 and the buyer paid shipping. I don't know if they'll be able to get that stain out. Maybe they just want the pants. Maybe they don't care. I don't really know how um, Barbie clothes work. The next item I sold is this loving family van. van. It's the twin time van. This door is broken. Um, broken door, sound works. So it's just broke. And it cannot be fixed. It is like broken off. And it still sold for $20 buyer paid shipping. I guess somebody could glue it on. The next item I sold is this loving family brother. And he sold for $13.60 buyer paid shipping. I picked him up with a bunch of dollhouse stuff. This also came out of my dibble box from Donatella Bottolino. Um, really cool vintage Costa Del Mar sunglasses uh, made in Japan. They've got the side things on them. But what's really cool is the lens. They're like purple. Super, super cool. I ended up taking a best offer of $32 and the buyer paid shipping. Um, I wasn't sure and I did disclose this, but you can see how, see how that one ear piece like hangs a little bit lower. I don't know if it was like a little bit like out of whack or maybe that's how it's supposed to be but I wasn't sure. So um, I just disclosed it down in the description and I reduced the price a little bit for that reason. So these were selling for 50, 60 ish dollars. Um, I think that's what they were selling for. Um, that's just from memory. I could be wrong, but definitely vintage sunglasses can be big money. And Donna sells, sells them at her auction in bulk all the time. So resellers scoop them up. The next item I sold, okay, this came from the Dibble Box, and I'm not kidding you guys. Like, I'm like, this is never gonna sell. I'm just gonna list it because it was in the Dibble Box. <laughs> and I kid you not, this thing sold super fast. Like, somebody wrote on the face and pen, the arms were broken off. It's a mess. I don't know. Maybe somebody wanted the outfit. I, I'm, I'm clueless on this one. If you guys can fill me in, I just put that it's a creepy doll, great for Halloween. I didn't say it's haunted. I don't think it's haunted. You know, people do that to try to sell things and get views. And I personally, I just can't do it. But I do think it is creepy looking. Um, probably just because of the, it's been written on and it's really old. But anyhow, I uh, sold it for $12. They didn't even make me an offer. Um, yeah, so that was a nice surprise to say the least. So let me know what you guys think on this one. And I don't know why it says four to five days shipping. That's odd. Hmm. This one does too. I need to check my listings. I ship next day. Huh. Maybe that's, oh, maybe that's delivery. Okay. All right. Because I was like, I ship next day. Why would it say that? Maybe they're just extending it a little bit. Okay. This came out of a mystery box and, uh, I would not have picked this up to sell, but it was kind of a lame mystery box. And I was like, I need to make my money back. So I went ahead and listed her. Um, and really, I wouldn't have picked her up just because her hair is a little bit messy. And I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> but I ended up selling her for a best offer of $12 and the buyer paid shipping. And the next item is this 2000 Hallmark Baby's second Christmas new old stock ornament from 2000. This came out of a mystery box and I sold this for $14 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage dollhouse furniture lot. Most of it is TLC or needs repaired. Um, like a couple of the chairs were okay over here. The mailbox is like crooked, just different issues. The drawer fell off. Um, so I just started it at $14.99. I got one bid. I was happy with that. Um, the buyer paid the shipping and I picked this up at an estate sale. And I cannot remember what I paid for all of it. Was it $20 for a big box of um, 
dollhouse furniture. I bought some other stuff too, so I can't remember the exact price. This was also a part of that. And these are little lights and they actually plug in and have little light bulbs. I did not have a way to test these. So I just lotted them up together and I put untested. I was hoping that I was going to get some more bids, but I did sell it for $24.99 and the buyer paid shipping. So I was good with that. The next item is a long tail item. I don't know where I got this or why I bought this because it's, it's not that great of an item, but I don't know. It's been listed in my store forever and somebody finally bought it. It's a card holder. I mean, it's interesting, but it's not in great condition. I am just surprised I sourced it. Do you guys ever do that? You buy something and I'm like, why did I buy that? Maybe it came with like a bundle of stuff and I just decided to list it. I'm not entirely sure, but it sold for $11.99 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I picked up at a garage sale, it was new old stock. Um, I paid $2 for it. And when I looked up comps, I was pleasantly surprised. Um, it did not sell as fast as I had hoped. So when somebody offered me $30 um, with best offer, I went ahead and took that. So I probably could have held out for 40, but I paid two bucks for it and just decided to move it. And it's a die cast um, car and it's from Disney cars. It's Shiftwell, Holly Shiftwell, and she's the purple car with the wings. All right, you guys, that concludes my bread and butter bolo video. Please leave me a comment down in the comment section. Hit that thumbs up. Check out one of my other videos. Hit that, I think it's right here, subscribe button if you haven't already. Oh, and if you hit the bell, that will alert you when I post new videos. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching and see you at the next one. Have a great night.